with the class today on that very personal story of my life. I brought this shoe because of uh, when I was little. It's an orthopedic uh, shoe. And uh, it's, a, it's a very um, important story for me. It's a turning point of my life too. Let me begin. Uh, I was born in El Salvador in 1990. And um, I was born with a foot impediment, which uh, means that I couldn't really move my left foot. And um, well, ever since, my parents have, have been uh, very cautious with me and uh, careful because uh, this condition that I had uh, was very uh, sensitive and I could easily get hurt, which meant that I could break my left leg and it wouldn't be able to use that afterwards. So um, during uh, my elementary years of school, I had to be uh, kind of separated from the rest of the people who could um, exercise the full um, uh, physical capabilities because I, I couldn't keep up with them, I couldn't play sports, I couldn't run, I couldn't, um, I couldn't do things which involved the use of my left leg. So um, for most of the time I kind of stayed away, stayed like separated, kind of confined sometimes in the bathroom because uh, my friends wouldn't let me out, or wouldn't want to let me out until uh, lunchtime or something, and feared that I would get hurt. But sometimes passed like this, and, um, and then I, um, in 2001, I, I moved here into the United States. And when I went to junior high school, um, the teacher started noticing that I was limping when I was walking, because that's the way I, I had to walk. I had been walking for, lots, for that for a long time. So they noticed this and they notified to the they notified this to the to the, you know, I don't know, house farmer or something. And then these people notified it to the hospital. And then the hospital notified my parents to tell me to tell them why I was limping, why I hadn't had that problem fixed. And then so so as a result, I was scheduled on uh, an operation uh, for my left leg a couple of months after the notice. And um, I was pretty excited when I heard this news because uh, it possibly meant that the problem was finally going to go away. And uh, these two months passed and my parents were really excited as well because after all, it had been a problem for a very long time. And when the day got there, I was really, really scared because I had never had an operation before. But um, I had to get up at 5 in the morning and go to the hospital with my parents. It was really dark, it was really, really um, empty in the hospital too. I thought I, was, I, don't know, I wasn't going to make it through the operation. <laughs> I thought I was going to die or something. <laughs> but, um, it, a couple of hours passed, so I, I was ready for the operation, and I was uh, really, really scared. I, I wasn't even crying or anything. I don't remember. Them. And um, my parents told me everything was going to be all right. And um, next time, next thing I knew, I, they were putting um, anesthesia on me, and I fell asleep. And then I couldn't do anything. When I woke up, first thing I did was uh, puke, because I had put some um, medicine on me that I couldn't take. So I woke up, I puked, and then I breathed immediately <laughs> because I felt the horrible pain in my left leg. It was so bad I couldn't I couldn't even dare move. And then I looked down at myself like I was laying down in the bed, so I looked down and I saw that everything was okay. I still had my two legs <laughs> on me. <laughs> and um Doctors were smiling. They told me that everything was okay and the operation was completed. And ever since, I have been engaging in therapy for um, learning how to walk again. It was learning how to walk in a whole different way. It wasn't like before. So it took a long time, but now it's it's pretty much done. I'm pretty much normal now. <laughs> That's what we call it. But. Um, I'm really thankful for, for that event which happened in my life because uh, I have 
ever since been able to engage in uh, physical activity and that's very rewarding and to know I can walk normally and run and everything. So that's my story.